Yes, guys, I am back, and today we're going to talk about this amazing topic love. Mm. What is love, really? Of course, most of us know love as being affectionate, being kind and sweet to somebody, you know, being selfless. So many definitions. Today I'm going to talk about love from the aspect of young people, relationship, and what we believe love to be. So, when it comes to relationship, the moment you talk about, oh I love you, we're going to relate it to feelings, how we feel most of the time, oh, whenever I'm around him or around her, I feel at peace, I feel this and I feel that. And most of the time will be like, oh, my heart keeps beating fast like this. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, well, all that is fine, you know. But is love only based on feelings? No, not possible. In terms of relationships, you need more than love and feelings to make things work. Because we're talking about different people, different ideas. As you, we usually say, um, on light poles attract, light poles repel. So most of the time you're going in for somebody that is mostly opposite from who you really are and it's understandable. But it's love only about the butterflies you have in your stomach. We hear in the movies, oh, I have butterflies in my stomach. And I always ask this question to my friends, I'm like, if the butterfly disappears, what's going to happen? Everything does go like this. So, it's more than just feelings. In terms of the relationship aspect, you need more than that butterfly in your stomach for things to work. We're talking about sacrifice, commitment, compromise, patience, trust, honesty, and of course, the love. The love makes up everything, obviously. But, these are other attributes or whatever we call it is very very important you don't have something good going on if you don't have them okay so I meet someone and I'm he's attractive he looks very good he's tall he's handsome and I'm like ah, so cute start trembling and stuff like that and then I start saying like oh I love him no he actually find him attract attractive or you find her attractive which is understandable but at that moment you don't love because you just saw one thing are you ready to be with that person are you ready to sacrifice compromise to understand the aspect of mm, this word has disappeared compatibility exactly that is the word there's so many things but these things are very important as i always say i come from the unpopular opinion uncle how i see it whether it is old-fashioned but that's the truth you need more than love to stay in a relationship love is not enough it's just like you have rice but you don't have water and you're like oh I'm going to make it work how how are you going to cook the rice with what anyway let's move on so what else can I do then I find this attractive guy he's good looking and most of the time we know one thing is clear if it's love you don't have to look have certain things that you be like oh well why do you love him this this and this well it's normal it's obviously normal for you to say oh I like him because he's tall he's handsome and this and that it's very much normal but in order for things to order for things to work you need more than his cute is handsome because trust me when it comes to love 
Hmm? You are going to like everything. Everything. The baggages. The fat smell. Is hitting habits. Is drinking everything. You are going to like everything. And if you're not ready for all the baggage that this person comes with, you're not really in love yet. Because girl my brother we have so much that we carry as individuals problema and problemi they come together problematic so are you really ready to compromise and work things out you ask yourself that question am i ready oh, okay i am i'm ready to take everything that comes with him handsome the crazy this because honey that person has gotten a different lifestyle from yours and there are so many things that you might be okay with that is not okay with vice versa and there are so many other things too that it might be very hard for you to adjust to that's the truth so love is love ever enough no it isn't it's just this fairy tale stories they make it look like oh happily ever after they have no problems no when i i grew old i'm start i started thinking what happened to cinderella and prince charming like what happened did how was their coronet like and the kids and stuff like that I have to think beyond that time I was a kid because we're talking about reality here and we don't have time for all this unrealistic things that will tell you but truth be told love is important but is that all we need for a relationship to work obviously not we have to first and foremost also understand that in terms of gender men women are different men women have different roles and if you're not ready to understand these roles and to walk alongside these roles honey you need to step back and get yourself ready before telling yourself you want to commit yourself and eh? I'm using self self to somebody else do you hear me my darling if you don't understand the various roles of each gender you are going to have a problem you need more than love you always do like this is not <laughs> he does not even need so much explanation it is simple the makeup of a man is different the makeup of a woman is different and of course another for things to work you need to understand yourself first and then later understand somebody and obviously you need to learn how to live with yourself first you can't just go into a relationship wherein you are not happy with yourself you don't know what you like you don't enjoy your own company and all of a sudden you are going to put all your burden on somebody to take care of all those needs for you so love is not just enough we need all these other things i've spoken about and we're going to continue the next episode looking at it from this aspect but for now just reflect on what i just said is love really enough for a relationship to work well that's it guys for me keep safe be good and of course i want to hear from you whatever you have to say drop your comments your questions and we'll have a discussion till the next episode bye